Former Mafia boss turned football coach Fran Chizimo is getting his first college coaching gig as an offensive coordinator at Air Force. Not his first choice, but can this Mafia boss take this military school to its first Mountain West championship win ever? We're rocking on Heisman 5-Minute Quarters with, put it this way, tough enough sliders. Don't police me. The team better be ready because conference play starts right away. The Falcons will also have games against Kentucky and Notre Dame, who are top 20 teams in the nation. In the season opener, Air Force would host Utah State, and the season got off to an amazing start for Utah State. His quarterback, Hazik Daniels, pitches to no one, and it's Byron Vaughn scoring for the Aggies. Next possession, Hazik just launches a ball on third and 10, and it is intercepted by Larson, leading to another score. So with that garbage out of his system, Daniels gets a rolling touchdown toss to wide out David Cormier to get the Falcons on the board finally. Later on, the read option, and Daniels breaks one tackler and another, gets out of an arm tackle, and runs over one final defender at the end for six points, which led to Air Force being able to close the game out with fullback Brad Roberts. What a nice comeback win to go to 1-0, but Daniels is on thin ice. Next up, it was a date on the Smurf turf, and Daniels rolled left and scrambled, but he gets landed on by big boy number 99, and he was done for the day. Down three to seven, it's a handoff to Brad Roberts, who finds pay dirt, and then later it's backup Jensen Jones rolling and finding a wide open Cade Harris for a 74 yard touchdown strike. Did this option team just go air raid? I don't know, but they're two and oh. Hell yeah. Next, Wyoming came in to visit and Daniels started, but it wasn't going well with an early interception. In a gutsy fourth down call, John Lee Eldridge finds the end zone for the game's first touchdown. And in the second half, Daniels rolls left and makes a dime of a throw on the run to Kinnaman, who takes it up the left side, shedding a tackle inside the 10 of Wyoming, setting up this next play for a Brad Roberts touchdown run. Later, it's Brad Roberts again slithering into the end zone to help seal the deal as he gets player of the game honors in the win. On the road at Nevada, a new weapon was discovered. Tight end Kyle Patterson caught a 16-yard touchdown pass from Daniels early in the game, and then Daniels tosses one long down the middle of the field to Patterson as he races for 66 yards before finally being dragged down. With Daniels hurt again, Jensen Jones finds backup tight end Caleb Rillos, who gets in for six points. And then later it's a rollout to the right and a yeet to David Cormier, and there is literally no one in sight to the speedster's delight as he is gone and so are the wolf pack packing their bags with a loss as patterson racked up nearly 200 yards and a couple of scores in a bragging rights game at navy daniels got the patterson party started early with a strike from 16 yards out daniels got hurt as usual and jones came in to roll right and hit patterson for another score he's unstoppable like diary after taco bell patterson breaks it open deep Deep, and Jones makes a great throw, amounting to another touchdown hookup as Patterson walks away with another huge game. San Diego State came in to play the 5-0 Falcons. Jensen Jones got the start. He made the most of it early with a pretty 21-yard dime to Caleb Rillos. And later, Jones rolled left and fired a bullet into the arms of Kyle Patterson for another touchdown. After that, it was Patterson wide open again for another dime piece from Jones as he started the game on absolute fire. Unfortunately, there were no more fireworks and the defense was blowing the game. And Jensen Jones helped them to do it with an interception as the undefeated season would slip away. But the Falcons could still win the Mountain West and it was time for a new winning streak starting in Kentucky. For an option Air Force team, there here's a rarity. It's a great running play as John Lee Eldridge is off to the races, shoving it in their faces. Jones ropes a nice one into Rillos down inside the 10-yard line, and then Eldridge finishing off the drive with his second touchdown of the day. He later added another one for a huge day to start a new winning streak for Air Force. 
Notre Dame is also no longer ranked when they come into Falcon Stadium, and Jensen Jones took advantage of that, finding wideout David Cormier down to the one-yard line so that Eldridge could then punch the ball in for the game's first score. Before half, he threw a perfect deep ball to Kyle Patterson to get Air Force up two tutties, and later a dangerous throw, but check out the dotty as Cormier has taken the rock all the way to the end zone. Air Force taking it to Notre Lame. Jensen Jones, holy tight throw, Batman, as Kyle Patterson gets another score to end all doubt. But you know what? One more never hurts, as Patterson had himself a day. Nice blowout by the Falcons. In the Army Air Force battle, Jones and Patterson continue to develop that chemistry as this butte of an early touchdown set the tone. Jones later squoze a tight throw in double coverage to Amari Terry. What a time. But to the well one too many times allows Broughton to jump a throw and make a pick that actually didn't look like he was in bounds, but whatever because Jones later made up for that throw with an extra touchdown pass. This one to David Cormier. Kyle Patterson has another big day in the win. Who's surprised it ain't me? Air Force finally ranked, had a snow game in New Mexico? Early things weren't working out, and a sack in the end zone Bruh. made it 5 nothing Lobos. A short yardage rushing score then gave the Falcons a small lead, and later it was actually a kick return by David Cormier that was enough for an Air Force win, 21-8 in the snow. Air Force up to 16 in the nation, but UNLV is 8-2 on the year. Jones stands tough outside the pocket and takes a hit while getting a pass to David Cormier for a 32-yard catch and run for a touchdown. Jones rolling left before halftime, throws a dangerous pass intercepted by Cameron Oliver. UNLV would take a lead before Jones got the football back in his hand. But this time, he was rolling left and it would work as he found Kinneman, who took it inside the 10-yard line. An easy one-yard punch in for Eldridge put the Falcons back on top, and then late in the fourth, Eldridge added another one to go up two scores. But UNLV would get back within three, and this last touchdown would do the trick, as Air Force's Mountain West title hopes stay alive. Air Force up to number 13 in the nation, on the road at 3-8 and eight, Colorado State. And Jones ropes a diamond to Patterson, who would get tons of yards without scoring in this game, but that's fine. Eldridge finished this drive off anyway. Unfortunately, only field goals thereafter, and on the last play of the ball game, Jones is hit as he throws, incomplete, and the Rams pull out an upset at home by a single point. Air Force was 10-2 now, but 6-2 in the conference, and they were tied with Boise State. Due to their early season win, 20-14 on the Smurf turf, they were the representative of the Mountain Division. It would be a rematch against San Diego State, who went 10-2 overall and undefeated in conference play. Did the Falcons get their revenge? A rematch against the Aztecs for the Mountain West title at Empower Field in Denver, Colorado. And Jensen Jones rolls to the right and scrambles into the end zone for the early lead. Jones later finds Kyle Patterson for a big gain of 34, and that's going to put him in the record books with the school's single-season receiving record that was set way back in 1970. Yeah. From there, Jones rolls right again, and he runs and dives in for yet another touchdown seven yards out. His solid day on the ground made up for an underwhelming air attack and led Air Force to their first-ever Mountain West Conference Championship win. Henry Parrish of Miami wins the Heisman Trophy, and Michigan wins the national championship over Oklahoma. The final bracket here. Famous Idaho Potato Bowl at the Smurf Turf, taking on Kent State with these awesome end zones again. A short pass from Jones to Caleb Rillos made it 7 nothing early on, and then John Lee Eldridge was on point with a three-yard rushing score, 14-zip. A wild grab on a tight throw from Jones to Patterson. Down to the one, set up a tiny rushing score for Brad Roberts. Air Force would win the Mountain West Conference title Boy, and the Idaho happen. Potato Bowl. So with his job at Air Force completed, would Franchisimo get offers to help yet another offense? And if so, where would he possibly go? Find out next time.